All right, guys. So I got this. This is a different 3000 watt 48 volt inverter. This is not one that I repaired. This is uh, the first inverter I ever bought from Reliable Electric, and it's working good. And I'm just going to show you what I mean by live neutral on this thing, or live ground. It's kind of the same thing on this inverter. But if I go from, uh, let's see, I'm trying to do this with one hand here. One second, I'm going to use this like a chopstick. Right, let's see if I can do it like this. See, I got it from these two posts, and I get 59 volts. Now, if I swap them, go from these two, I get 57 volts. So I get I get half power to this neutral, which is also bound to the ground. So, in fact, you get a live ground from half, 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 half. And then from these two, you get your 120. <coughs> so, but that's just one inverter. I just tested, from, old time engineer's been telling me this since the last video, that uh, his inverters don't have live grounds. I'm like, what? I just had another YouTuber say the same thing. And in fact, my 8,000 watt inverter, no live ground, no live neutral. The neutral is already bound to, uh, um, or the ground is already bound to the neutral. So, it's very interesting. I guess you gotta check it on your own inverter to see if you have a live ground or not. I have not checked that one. There's a 3000 watt inverter there. It's not hooked up. I don't know if that has a live ground for sure or not. I know that this one did because I checked it when I first bought it and I just assumed that all these reliables had it. I did not think that they actually changed uh, how they manufactured them. It's very interesting. I wonder if these ones are better in some way. Uh, but uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. We're getting almost no power today because we're getting a lot of snow. But we're sitting at almost 60 volts so we should have lots of power to get through the day. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.